Today, I'm going to show you a demo on how to correctly fuse. Some people get a little confused when they have to fuse and <laughs> rush, but today I'm going to show you how to do it correctly. Here's two ways. So, there's actually going to be like two or three demos, but today I'm going to show you fusing from a smaller to larger fuse, which can sometimes be hard. So there's going to be two ways to do it. There's the easy way, which is just going to be putting this like this, and always make sure your fuse are, are going in opposite directions, because it's going to start here and the fire is going to go on to this one. So you don't want it going the same way, you want it going to each other. So that's the easy way, which some people do. Works most of the time, but there's better ways to do it. Simple. Just tape it over. Here's the way that is a little more foolproof. So what you're going to want to do is take your scissors, which I think you can use scissors, because some people told me that you're not supposed to, but I think that only applies to like 1.3G, not regular visco. So you want to cut into the powder coil right there to expose it. Put your fuse over. Tape it. Now, of course, there's many ways to fuse. You don't have to use tape. You can use quick fuse clips, which are great. I have some of those. Probably gonna use those for my Fourth of July. You could use zip ties, but today we're just gonna do simple tape. Okay, so now here's the demo. We'll do the easy one first. So the first one we're gonna demo is the one that hasn't been cut into. Just the easy one. Worked fine. Second one we're gonna demo is one of the powder core cut into it. That one worked even better, I would say. So, if you want 100% pass fire, go with cutting into the powder core. But if you just want to do it the easy way and really quick, it works the other way too. That's video number one on fusing. Firecracker Sam, out.